very warm welcome to WS Cubics. So guys, in our previous session, we have covered what are NumPy's arithmetic functions. In our today's session, we will be talking about NumPy matrices and NumPy arrays. So we will be basically discussing that what are matrices and NumPy. So matrices is the topic that you might have heard about in your class 12th. And if you have not heard, we will be discussing matrix in this uh, session as well. So to understand matrix, first of all, how to create a matrix in Python, let's have a look on that. So first of all, we will be importing NumPy as NP. Once we have imported NumPy as NP, let's create an array over here. For creating an array, I'll be writing ARR is equals to NP dot array. And here I'll be passing elements like 2 comma 3. And let me just create a two dimensional array over here. So I'll be creating a two dimensional array, for example, 4 comma 5. And I'll be putting it inside a pair of square brackets. Now, next thing that I'm going to do is write here, print ARR. Let's run and see what output we will get here. So as soon as we run it, we'll be getting the output 2, 3, 4, 5. Now at the same time, if I want to create a matrix, for that I'll be writing MAT, MAT is equals to NP dot matrix. And here we are creating a matrix with uh, not so similar elements, but I'll be writing 1, 2 in one square bracket. And again, I'm creating it in 2D because the matrix has rows and columns. So here also we'll be providing with the rows and the columns. So my matrix can be one dimensional also, two dimensional, three dimensional and uh, and over here, matrix is basically created with the help of rows and columns. So we are having two rows and uh, two columns here. Now to print it, I'll be writing print MAT. And let's run and see. So as soon as I run it, you can see both array and the matrix over here looks the similar. Then, then how we can differentiate between both of them? To differentiate between both of them, what we'll be doing, I'll be writing print type of ARR. And here we will be printing type of MAT. So now if I run it. You will see one of them belongs to the classes of n array that is uh, n dimensional array. The first one belongs to n dimensional array while the second one over here belo belongs to the classes of matrix in NumPy. Now what is the difference over here is that one major difference over here is the matrix multiplication and NumPy multiplication. For example, if I have two arrays over here, if I will create one more array then let's say I am creating ARR1 is equals to NP dot array, not the absolute but the array. And here I will be passing another set of two dimensional array. I will be writing 2 comma 4. And here I will be writing 6 comma 1. Similarly another matrix I will be creating over here. So I will be writing MAT1 is equals to NP dot matrix. And again I will be creating a 2D matrix here by writing 3 comma 4 comma. In the square bracket I will be passing 8 comma 9. Okay. Now. Uh, to multiply them, to multiply them, uh, what we will be doing in our array, we have seen it before, to multiply, we simply write ARR, multiply by ARR1 or you can also use a multiplication function by, uh, by writing uh, NP dot multiply and here we can pass ARR comma ARR1. So this is how we can multiply and if I run this, the matrix multiplication would look like this. That is 4, 12, 24 and 5. Let me just remove all the other things from here. So I will be just removing this and we will be only keeping the multiplication part. Okay. If I just run this for multiplication of uh, array, we will be getting the output as 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times 4 is 12, 4 times 6 is 24 and 5 times 1 is 5. Okay. While at the same time, if you want to multiply in the matrix, the simple multiplication does not happen here. What we need to do, we need to write np dot and we will be writing dot over here. We will be writing dot dot is what we need to basically find the dot product. To multiply matrices, we find the dot product and for dot product, we use the dot function. Here we will be passing mat comma mat1 and now if I run it. I'll be getting the output as 19, 22, 63, 74. Let me just use the similar elements over here. So if I use let's say 2, 3 and 4, 5 here. In here I'll be just using 2, 4, 6, 1. So you will observe the basic difference over here. So as soon as I run it. So now we have taken both the elements as same. Like in both of them we have the same uh, elements inside the area and same elements inside the matrix. Still multiplication of arrays is giving me 4, 12, 24 and 5 while the multiplication of a matrix is giving me 22, 11, 38, 21. So what basically is changed over here? Let's have a look on that. So first of all, if I talk about the array multiplication, how it is happening is very simple. Suppose we have 2, 3, 4, 8 and here we have 1, 2, 3, 1. Okay. So how array multiplication is happening, this element that means first element is getting multiplied with this one. So 2 multiplied by 1 is 2, 3 multiplied by 2 is that means this element multiplied by this element would be 6. The um, 
the first element of row 2 and the first element of row 2 over here that means 4 3 times is 12 and 8 1 times is 8 this is how we are getting the matrix uh, so this is how we are getting the array multiplication while at the same time if i talk about the matrix multiplication so this is what this is our array multiplication while at the same time if i talk about matrix multiplication let's have a look at that as well so i'll be writing here matrix multiplication and over here i'll be using elements like 1 2 3 4 and 4 1 2 Okay, now if I talk about matrix multiplication here, uh, we cannot multiply the numbers exactly with the same position. What we need to do in matrix multiplication, we multiply the row with the column. That means this whole row will be multiplied by this column to obtain the elements. For example, 1 will be multiplied by 4, 1 multiplied by 4 plus 2 multiplied by 2. This is what this will be our first element. Okay, if I talk about the second element here, second element would be 1 multiplied by 1 plus 2 multiply by 3 that is 6. So 2 multiply by 3. Later we will just write the output. Okay. Then after that we have next row. We will be talking about uh, for the second two values. We will be talking about the second row over here. So uh, second row multiplied by first column. So 3 multiply by 4 plus 4 multiply by 2. And over here we will be multiplying 3 multiply by 1 plus 4 multiply by 3. Okay. In this way the output I am just writing the output over here. So output would be 4 multiply by 1 is 4 plus 4 is 8. Here we will be getting uh, two, uh, 3 times 2 is 6 and plus 1 is 7. Here we will be getting 12 plus 8 that is 20. And here we will be getting 12 plus 3 that is 50. In this way we will obtain the output over here. So basically in matrix multiplication what happens the row is multiplied with the column. So this is, this is 2 by 2 multiplication. Suppose if we have 3 times 3 multiplication. Suppose if we have 3 rows and 3 columns. So it would be like that 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and over here if let's say we have 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 2, 4, 3, 2. Okay. So here how the multiplication will happen here we will be getting first row this column that means 1 multiply by 1 plus 2 multiply by 3 plus 3 multiply by 4. This will be our first value over here that means this whole row will be multiplied by this first column. Then for the second value, what we will be doing, we will be multiplying this same row over here but with this column. So, so first row, second column. So, I will be writing over here. Instead of this, what I will do, I will just write the name of it. So, basically I will be writing first row, first column. This is my first value. Then for the second value, first row, second column. Then for the third value, first row, third column. Similarly, for the, for the next value over here, we will be going with the second row over here, second row and first column, second row, second column, third row and third column. Okay. Actually, second row again. Uh, it's not sec, uh, not third row, but it will be second row. Now, for the, uh, for the elements in the third row, we will be multiplying the third row with all of them. So, third row and first column. Again, we will be having third row with the second column and third row with the third column. This is how we will be getting the output. Like we need to multiply them and get the addition. 3, 2, 1 multiply by 1 plus 3 multiply by 2 is 6 plus uh, 3 multiply by 4 is 12 and their addition will give us the first value. In, in this way we basically multiply it. So I hope guys that how matrix is different from array over here is clear to you. How multiplication in matrix is different than uh, multiplication in array is also clear to you. How we can differentiate between matrix and uh, array is by finding the type of it and for finding the type of it you all we need to do is write type and we need to pass the variable inside it and it will give us the type plus to create an array we use np.array while at the same time if we want to create a matrix we use np.matrix. So I hope guys that you guys have no doubts in the question and matrices in numpy arrays and in our next session we will be talking about more functions related to the matrices so stay connected guys and I will see you in the next session. Thank you.